ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ
तलंग महला पंजरा मीरा
drink of the Lord Vahik. The Lord God in your mind, the wise one. Mira means wise one. Someone who is wise. Mahabate man tan Mahabat means to build a friendship, a relationship. Esi Mahabat Bana, build such a friendship with that Malik. Man Tan Baser, such that he is in your mind, Man, or in your body, Tan Baser. Mahabat Man Tan Baser, such a Saho Bandi Moj, such a Saho. Saho means friend, Bandi Moj. He will free you from your imprisonment. What does Bandi mean? Bandi means bondage. We are imprisoned. Our soul is imprisoned. It is imprisoned by Panj Jor, five thieves. And that is the Bandi that we want. That is the imprisonment from which we wish to be saved. And one of the problems we have, Gursikko, my sisters and brothers, is that we do not know our inner self. We do not recognize that which is inside us, the kamiya, the shortcomings, that which are inside us. It often takes somebody else to tell us about them. Inside us there is a lot of hangar, but we do not realize it. There is a lot of crowd, a lot of anger, but we do not realize it. There is a lot of moha, but we do not realize it. Is dehi under panch jor Is devich inside this body there are five things. Is dehi mah panch jor Kam krod lob mo hankara. Amrat lut hai man mukh nahi bujje koe na sune pukara. It takes the amrat, the nectar, the naam away from us. Amrat lut hai man mukh nahi bujje. And we do not realize it. Koe na sune pukara. But he listens to this. This cry that we are making, this cry that we are generating, nobody is listening. This is why we need the Guru. Because without the Guru, Jagat bhi anda hai. Asi bhi ande haan, we are blind. We live in darkness without the Guru. Didne didar sahib, kach nahi iska mo. Is didne, these eyes, about which Pai Nandala says, Didneyanu dehe ras didar ta, sina bane kar bhed de pandahar ta. Didne means eyes. Didane didar sahib. Didar is another word for darshan. With these eyes, I wish to see my malak, my guru. Kachnahi iska mol for that opportunity. There is no value that I can place on it. Didane didar sahib. Kachnahi iska mol. Paak parvadgar tu. Khud khasam vada ato. To park hai, park means pure. To parvadigar hai, which means you are the cherisher, the one who provides sustenance, the one who provides rosy or rizik, food, clothing, the one who fulfills all my needs. Park parvadigar tu khud khasam vada atol. Atol means we cannot place a value in Malak on your greatness. 
You know my every needs. You know needs of mine that even I don't know about. Kat kat ke antar ki jaan te pahle bure ki peer pachan te jitti te kunchar asthula. Sab par kripa drist kar pula. Jitti to lagke from an ant kunchar to an elephant. Asthula you have provided for all of them. Jitti te kunchar asthula. Sab par kripa drist kar pula. You have provided for all of them. Hey Malik. And yet we do not realize this. We are very ungrateful. There is a shabd in the Guru Granth Sahib, which is a very hard-hitting shabd. Narmare nar kam na aave. When a human dies, ek se kam nahi hota. When a banda dies, when a manuk dies, when a man passes away, a woman passes away, kuch kam na aave. He's of no use to us. We can't do anything with that person. We bury them. From that moment on, we treat them as a pood, as a prey. We cannot even face them anymore. Once upon a time, we couldn't be departed from them, and now we can't even face them anymore. Pasu mare das kaj swarde. When a pasu, an animal dies, or sadly das kaj swarda hai. These are so much used to us. We use the skin of the goat. We make instruments with it. We make shoes with it. Nar mare nar kam na aave pasu mare das kaj swarde. But an animal, us a de kai kaj swarda hai. Das tagiri dehe de lavar tu hi tu hi ek hai malik. Give me your help, your assistance. You are the one, you too he, too he ek. There is only you. Kartar kudrat karn khalak nanak teri ke. He kartar kudrat te sajan wale. Kartar kudrat karn khalak nanak teri ke. Main teri te take rakhta ha. I have faith in only you. In this shab, my sisters, my brothers, Gurmukho. Guruji is saying two particular points which I want to explore today. First, Satcha Saho Bandi Moj. Then elsewhere in this shop, Guruji say, Dibdane Didar Sahib Kachnahi is come. The day that we are celebrating today, Bandi Shor Divas. To us as a Sikh community, as a Sikh Tarm, as a Sampratha Srani, we call it Bandi Shor Divas, not Diwali. Diwali is the Hindu term. Hundreds of years ago, our sixth master at the age of 11 became Guru. The age of 11. His father before him, Guru Arjan Dev, the fifth master, had just been martyred by Jahangir by the instructions of Jahangir. There are many stories given by Adi Saad Sangat. Many stories given as to why Guru Arjan Dev was martyred. There's a story about Chandu Mal. There's a story about Khushrao. There's a story that says that Prithi Chand, his brother, conspired against him and caused the emperor influenced the emperor and ultimately had his own brother martyred. There is one story that I pay much more attention to, and that is the words of Jahangir himself in his autobiography, Tuzuk in Jahangiri. This is an autobiography written by him. There are English translations of this. Those of you who can read Farsi will be able to read the original autobiography. And in this, Jahangir says that for many years, I have sought to bring this Hindu into my fold. This Hindu being Guru Arjun Dev. He was quite annoyed, he was quite anxious that many thousands of pilgrims, thousands of pilgrims around the Punjab are flocking to see this Guru. This Guru who has built this great Darbar, Harmandar Sahib. Thousands of people are flocking to see him. They're bowing down in front of him and they're putting money in front of him. 
They have started calling him Sajja Padsha. Zukti Jahangiri. Jahangiri says, for many years I have sought to bring this Hindu into my fold. And now I have the opportunity. And when we study his autobiography, we find that it was as a matter of jealousy, as a matter of anxiety, Jahangir had become very concerned that this, concerned that this Hindu fakir, as he called him, had become so popular. He was a threat to his throne. This is how political people work. This is how Raja and Maharaja work. Guru Arjan Dev Sahib was made Shaheed and the dosh, the excuse laid upon him was a big fine, some people say two lakh rupiah, were placed on him. Guru Arjan Dev Sahib refused to pay this and they were made Shaheed. Their son Guru Hargobind Sahib at the age of 11 became Guru. Baba Buddha, the great wise old man, who had performed the Gurgaddi ceremony for Guru Angad Dev Sahib, Guru Amar Das Sahib, Guru Ram Das Sahib, Guru Arjan Dev now came to perform the ceremony on Guru Hargobind, our sixth master. And Guru Hargobind Sahib stopped Baba Buddha and said, Hey Baba Ji, Bhai Sahib, I'm going to wear two karpana. I want you to place them around my shoulders. One Kirpan is going to represent Miri, which means political authority, and the other Kirpan is going to represent Piri, which means spiritual authority. All the gurus before me were spiritual masters, but the times have changed. And this is a point in our Ithahas where our identity and our direction becomes confirmed. Here's the card. You are a son or a sabahi, a saint and a soldier. Guruji wore the karpan of sainthood and the karpan of soldierhood. When the time comes, you have to defend the innocent. Defending the innocent doesn't necessarily mean fighting on a battlefield. Defending the innocent means that everywhere where you see injustice is being served, whether they are against your own brothers and sisters, whether they are against another Taram like Guru Tegh Bahadur Sor, it is your duty, it is your obligation to defend them, to fight for them, to campaign for them. At the age of 11, Guru Hargobind Sahib won two Kirpan. He began to learn Gataka, martial arts. He began to learn horse riding. As time progressed, thousands of Patans, thousands of soldiers from the Sikh Sangat, the Hindu brothers, the Muslim brothers flocked behind Guru Harkobin Sahib. And they received dra daily training, daily tuition. They learned Gatka, they learned the art of sword fighting, of defense, of riding horses. Firing arrows from a bow. And Jahangir became even more concerned. There is a story that once a grass cutter went to Jahangir, who was sitting in a tent, and the grass cutter said to him, Having bowed down in front of him and placed one gold taka, the grass cutter, when asked by Jahangir, Ke hey, Manuk, what do you want? What can I give you? The grass cutter said, Ke hey, Malak, minu mukti bakshon, give me salvation. Mera ona jana khatam kar de. That's what I want. Jahangir said to him, Why do you not ask for land? Why do you not ask for fame? Why do you not ask for a position of authority inside my darbar? Why do you not ask for a great name? These are things I can give you. To mukti de naal ki karna hai. What good is that to you? And the grass cutter asked again, he said, Hey Malak, that is all I want. I do not want man. I do not want wealth. I do not want a position of great authority in your darbar. I want mukti. And Jahangir said to him, I cannot give you that. 
cannot give you that. And the grass cut your pickies, gold duck off, and he got up and he said, Hey, Malik, you are not a such a bad shot. I will take this gold duck to someone who can give you that. And he walked away. And this is why, Pyari Sa Sangat, our gurus were known as Sajja Badsha. Not just Badsha, Jahangir, Akbar, Hamayu, Babar, the Badshahs after Jahangir, Shah Jahan, Aurangzeb, Bahadur Shah were all known as Sajja, as Badsha, Badsha Salam. Badsha Shah Jahan, Badsha Aurangzeb, they were not known as Sajja Badsha.